you come to the fighting sport training is not easy because uh, it's a very dedicated sport. And if you want to be a fighter or be part of fighting sport, you have to train very hard. You train hard and you have a good fight and easy battle. You know? So I've not been sleeping at all. Because as you can see in the boxing, you can see a lot of champions in there. It's not like Thai boxing whereby you can find a champion today, tomorrow you have another world champion. It's not like that. Boxing is also a different game altogether. So I'm really dedicated with this thing and my coach is pushing me very hard. I don't sleep for this. Uh, it's, a, it's a different game because in the, in the Thai boxing or kickboxing we use elbows. But boxing is only the hand. So when you go to Rome, you do what the Romans do. So I'm really um, working hard for this and I don't want to use my leg or my elbows or my knees. I'm using all my hands to see what I can do. Because in Thai boxing, when you use your leg and your knees, you get tired very quick. But boxing, let's see what, what will happen. Uh, uh, last two months, I was supposed to fight 26 and the opponent didn't show up from Nigeria. So this time we are still looking up for the opponent. I'm ready. I think I'm ready, but we will see. The ring will show. Oh, my, my, my uh, intention to do this boxing is to set a big record because you can see I'm from kickboxing to boxing. Uh, people think when you're doing kickboxing you cannot box. But I want to show people that uh, everybody doing a kickboxing can also do boxing. So uh, nothing changed. I'm, I'm ready to box and nothing changed of my training. It's just you listening to your coach and whatever I say you should do, you do. If you say don't kick, don't kick. If you say box, you box. So for me I'm ready. Nothing changed. It's I mean, a fighting. Tome is really blessed because uh, I started Thai boxing with him and I took him like a small brother. I helped him with a lot of training and stuff. It's, it's really dedicated. You see the guy doesn't go around uh, like you see some of the boxers put uh, earrings and stuff. It's very, uh, 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 it's very street, you know, and very humble, very respectful guy and he's a God-fearing person. I like him as of now. We come, as you can see, I have PhD. He was the one who provided me with a lot of supplement. He's a very good boxer and trust me, he's going to be number one boxing in, uh, in Ghana here, worldwide. Richard is blessed, trust me. What we're talking about, somebody has been ordained. He has been ordained. He, he was, he, he was uh, they mentioned even his name before he was born. You understand what I mean? Yeah. So he's really ordained. Last, last week somebody asked me if my opponent is here and I'm going to fight with him in the ring. Uh, what am I going to do? And it, it was like, you have to respect all your opponents because if it's not good, he cannot be with you. He cannot be the position you have. He's a good fighter too. So you have to respect all your opponents and then the ring will show. Your training will show what you can do. You understand? Thank you so much. and. Uh, a big thanks to Almighty God, my mom and my big coach who has started me from boxing and Thai boxing from Ghana here and he's really taking good care of me. So I really give a big thanks to him and my brother from Switzerland and all Swiss support and Thai, uh, Thai people and uh, Dutch people who are supporting me with my training everywhere I go. They help me with the training and uh, I want to tell them that I'm still on the track. I'm, I'm back to the ring. The king is in the ring again. Yeah.